Hey everyone, this is Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today I'm going to share a quick tip with you guys showing you how to create a simple and easy outline for any 2D shape that you have inside a Blender. So I just have this uh, Batman logo I have here, and I'll put a link in the description for the tutorial showing you guys how to create it. And there's multiple ways to create an outline, and I'll show you a couple of them. First what I'm going to do is duplicate this and move it to another layer so we have a backup. Now I'll tab into edit mode, select everything by pressing A, and then press E to extrude it along the Y axis. And what we want to do now is delete all of these faces here and keep just the outline. And you can do that by selecting all of these faces individually, but a quicker way to do that is to select our outline and then inverse our selection. So to do that, just switch over to face select mode, and then come over here to where these two faces are connecting and press alt and right click right in between it and that'll select all these faces now we'll press control i to inverse our selection and press x to delete the face and what we're left with is just our simple outline and if you tried to render this out it'd be paper thin so you wouldn't see anything so what we're going to do is come over to our modifier tab and add a solidify modifier and now you can just increase the strength and you'll see that you're getting a nice thick outline. I'll just give it a white shadeless material, make a black background, and if we go into rendered view, whoops, shadeless, you should be able to see our nice outline. Okay, and the thicker you want your outline to be, the less uh, correct it'll look and if I slide this up you'll see that we're getting a lot of these overlapping faces and it doesn't look very good and if you want it to go out all you have to do is make uh, the thickness negative so this is one way to do it and it's very simple and easy to do for small thin lines that you want and to get rid of the flat faces here just switch the shading to smooth and add a edge split modifier and that'll take care of it so that's the first method the next method I think is a lot better, but it will also add a lot more faces. So I'm just going to come back here to the second layer, duplicate our plane again, move it to another layer. And what we want to do is convert this 2D shape into a curve. You can do that by pressing Alt-C and pressing Convert to Curve from Mesh or Text. And now we have an outline of our 2D object and I'm just going to add a circle curve and I'll come over here to the settings set the resolution to 2 then come over to our 2D shape and under bevel object we'll select that circle and you can see it's way too big so I'm just going to select that circle and scale it down and you can see we're getting a nice thicker outline it's also keeping that shape a lot better than it would be if we had the the solidify modifier and I'll just give this another shadeless material and you can take a look oh I have to give it to this okay you can see it's a lot thicker and still maintains the shape really well and you can scale this circle to be as thin or as thick as you want but there's always a point when you get too thick that it starts to look weird so just keep that in mind and then if you think that this is too rough you can always add a subdivision surface modifier to this to smooth it out just like that okay so that's looking good and there's also one other way you can do this convert it to I'm just gonna come over to our third layer and convert this mesh to a curve also and I'm going to uh, add some extrusion to this 0.1 okay and then change the depth of this to 0 0.01 and there you can see we're getting some nice depth and if you increase it you can get thicker lines or thinner lines and this method also works well, but the only problem is that you're missing this inside faces, so it could look weird. 
and this is what it looks like. So that's some of the ways you can create an outline for 2D shapes in Blender. And it also works with text if you want to see. I'll just come over here to our text and convert it to a curve. And I will select our circle as our curve or bevel object. And you can see we have a nice outline for our text also. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.